1. Manual Direction Test Press the direction key manually, check if the tracker is running in the correct direction. Two, troubleshooting. A, when less than 10 degrees deviation occurs in returning. One, bias towards the east, cause, too short return time, solution, increase T4 slash T10 values. These values, T4 slash T10, should be same. Two, bias towards the west, cause, too long return time, Solution, reduce T4 slash T10 values. These values, T4 slash T10, should be same. 3. Bias towards the south, cause, too short return time. Solution, increase T5 slash T11 values. These values, T5 slash T11, should be same. Note, when the bracket tilts to the east, Increase the value of setting T4 at 10. And decrease the value of setting T4 at 10 when the bracket tilts to the west. If the previous adjustment still can't flat this bracket, please add the value of setting T3 at 9. Then slightly adjust the setting of T4 at 10. B. When greater than 10 degrees deviation occurs in returning. Enter manual mode to set parameters. T9 refers to the time from the westernmost to the easternmost. Keep holding down E. We came up with 28 seconds. T10. Turn the tracker from east to flat position and record the time used. Turn the tracker from flat to south, no need for timing. T11, turn the tracker from south to flat, and record the time used. T12 does not need to set parameters. Use the recorded time values to set the T9 to T12 values. T9 slash T11 equals recorded time 1.2. T10 slash T12 equals recorded time. Due to the long running time and limited by the running speed of the actuator, it is necessary to calculate the time 1.2 times to ensure that the operation to the edge and when the operation reaches the flat, ensure that the operation is not biased to either side. No need to multiply the calculation time. If it is still sort of tilted in one direction somehow after completing all the settings, please slightly change the settings by following the instruction in the section of troubleshooting A.